What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Bitch, welcome back to the channel. We are back recording live from the mothership with SmackDown. This is the go home show for Fast Lane, a first pay per view of the Co op Universe mode. And it's gonna be lit. And we have something special for you tonight, San Diego, California. I hope y'all are ready. We're back and we're ready to kick it off. Right, it's time for our first match of the evening. It is a tag team qualifier. You saw last week, Los Lafarios, Humberto Carrillo, and Angel Garza picked up a win against Lucha House Party. They are going to fast lane, and their opponents, their opponents going to be decided right here, right now. The Usos coming down. Now, I didn't mention that the competitors in these qualifiers will be the teams that didn't get an opportunity in the tag team ladder match. That opened up uh, week one of this universe mode. But we had a space. And as I said, the Usos have been granted an opportunity uh, based off of Jay Uso's performance in the Rumble match on SmackDown. So, I mean, you know, we, we make it count here on SmackDown. You know, wins, losses, it all matters. It's all gonna, you're going to be rewarded. You, you, get, you get what you work for. You know, your actions matter. And everything has a consequence. So... Usos earning their spot right here and, and you have to say based off of their track record uh, Based off of their abilities They probably got to be the favorites. They're going up against a, 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 a Pretty new team right here As a matter of fact, they're making their debut as a team here on Smackdown right now Familia Mysterio, Rey Mysterio the legend the legend in WWE And as a matter of fact, we haven't seen Rey Mysterio. I mean Barn before before this universe mode barring the the rumble match and we won we didn't see Rey Mysterio since since his little spat with I call it a spat it's much more than a spat since his rivalry with uh, Andrade Cien Almas and, and Andrade taking the mask off of Rey Mysterio's face we haven't really seen Rey Mysterio about since then and uh he's in here with his son who is a, a huge talent here in WWE Trying to make waves in the tag team division. This is a massive opportunity. I mean, you win one match and you're in there at fast lane. And all of a sudden, you're competing for the tag team champions. Two wins and you can have that gold around your waist. And they could thank uh, uh, the unfortunate events that led to the Street Profits being forced to uh, give up their championships. And you already know that when the Street Profits, uh, when Angelo Dawkins returns from his injury, you already know... You know, we're gonna we're gonna give them their opportunity. They're gonna they're gonna get their chance. But the Usos get right to work in this one and going for an early cover. Feeling confident inside that ring. Feel must be feeling real confident inside that ring to be going for such an early cover. But we we've shown nothing. I mean, you look at our roster, I mean, full of full of talent, full of highly skilled compares inside the ring and uh, it, it's translated to some great matches already so far in this in this uh season of, of smackdown and you can expect nine more because it's just started with three weeks in, with for well this is the fourth with four weeks in Rey mysterio completely missed shooting that one and missing jimmy 
And Jimmy goes straight in for that tag again, getting, getting Jay back in. This is something that, oh, nice roll out of the way. Something that we've yet to see from the Mysterios. I mean, that, that team cohesion, that understanding. I mean, Rey Mysterio has been part of some tag teams throughout his career. And obviously, uh, you know, he's, he's a very experienced superstar. And, 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 and he's, he's tagging with, with his son. So, I mean, they're going to have that chemistry. Brilliantly done, Phoenix Splash. And going for the cover right there is Jay. He gets a one, but Dominic is in early to break it up. And Jay turns his attention to Ray's son and sends him over that top rope. And there goes Jimmy, who is the legal man right now. Going for the splash. And Ray Mysterio got out of the way by his attention being turned on that. Has led to Jay getting an advantage again and a super kick. Wait. Hey, Rey Mysterio needs to get that tag into Dominic, eh? Dominic. He needs that tag because the Usos are in full, full control right now. Rey Mysterio gets the tag into Dominic and Do Do Dominic! Ah! That's exactly what Familiar Mysterio needed. Rey Mysterio with a slow start, but the Usos shutting that momentum off. Shutting it off. They, they ain't playing no games. Big right hand. Big right hand from Jey Uso right there. Who's been in complete control of this match. I mean, Jimmy has been in for a split second and tagged Jay back out. Jay has been in full control. And here comes Jimmy again. Dominic is on his feet, but eats a chop to the chest. It's beautiful. Beautiful float, float under DDT and Jimmy straight back out. I mean, Jay, Jay seems to be the guy for the Usos right now. He had his spot in the Rumble. I, I would be interested to see how Jimmy would have fared in the Rumble match. And Jay is going right up to the top rope. He's turning around. Oh, and another beautiful move off of the top rope from Jay Uso. Jay is feeling it. Going up to the top rope and Rey Mysterio. Ah, oh, that, that, that was a crucial interception right there for Ray. He's forced Jay to get back in the ring and, and, and be grounded. A little bit more grounded in his offense. Dominic interrupting that offense right there. But maybe not doing exactly enough. And Jay... Jay has fully turned his attention to Ray Mysterio. And Dominic says, hey, I'm in here. Look, pay attention to me. And that might be a massive turning point in this match for Familia Mysterio. Brilliant kicks from Dominic. And the strides, look at working on the legs, that right leg, Jesus. That, that right there, a lot of people might not understand that, that right there is, is the result of many years of, of, of training. I mean, you don't get kicks like that. Same leg, right, right leg after right leg. You know, uh, you don't get kicks like that without constant training. And the referee's getting, he's on an eight count and Dominic Mysterio finds his way back into the ring. He tags in Ray and Jey Uso's gonna have to get to his feet. Referee took three whole seconds to count from eight to nine, bro. Don't think I didn't see that. And Jey Uso back into the ring on time. And that right there, that, that, that's an interesting one because the referee, the, the, you, the, hey, go back. Go back and check that. That eight count, that eight to nine was extra long, bro. That shit was extra long. Jey Uso manages to get the momentum shifted back the other direction. Thanks to that long count from the ref and Jey Uso is up on the top rope and he goes and hits the Uso. Connecting. Hooks the leg. One, two, and Dominic is in there to break it up. Man. That could have been a that could have been a real unjust victory for the Usos right there, man. Could have been real unjust. I feel like I feel like the count out is was was it was on the way. I mean, really, we really should have seen a, another count out victory in this one. But referee had something else in mind, I guess. A three Mysterio. Goes off of the top rope. The Snake Eyes action. The Usos have looked absolutely brilliant in this matchup until this point. Still in control. I mean, Dominic, Dominic has uh, had the better of the offense when it comes to Familiar Mysterio. 
Rey Mysterio's been having a little bit of a hard time. Double super kick. Boy is laid out. Boy is laid out. Rey Mysterio is taking a beating right here. But he's fighting back as he always does. Rey Mysterio always got a little bit of fight in him. And we know what time it is now. Rey Mysterio 619 connects. Rey Mysterio getting back in. Going up to the top rope. And Rey Mysterio sizing it up for the finish. Connects with the splash. The crowd going wild. And Rey Mysterio tags in Dominic. Maybe looking for the finish now. The Usos might be on their last legs. Oh my god, and Jay just on the right. I mean, that's the experience right there. Getting the reversal right when it's needed. Crucial moment for the reversal right there. There goes Jay. Look at Jay Uso just piling shots onto their face. With Dominic Mysterio. But Dominic is relatively fresh in this match. A lot of the, a lot of the offense has gone in the direction of uh, Ray, as I have mentioned. Dominic getting the crowd involved with the big right hands loving that the crowd are loving Dominic Mysterio right now as he goes and gets his father back in the ring potentially one last time but the Usos fighting back again beautiful German suplex from Jimmy Uso he tags back in Jay I got a funny feeling this match is coming to an end one way or another. Whoever gets the victory. I feel like it's going to be coming soon. Big forearm shots to the lower spine. Rey Mysterio. What's Jey Uso going for right here? He's got Rey Mysterio twisted all the way up right there. Dominic. What a drop kick. To break up that submission attempt. And now Dominic. Has Jimmy, uh, Jay going after him. Able to get him off and, and defend himself. But he needs to do something to help out Rey Mysterio right here. Rey Mysterio is looking in a bad way. And the Usos just doing a good job of keeping him in this corner. And continuously switching in and out and keeping themselves fresh. Here goes Jey Uso. Oh my God, the boy! You see the boy's neck snap back. Oh my God! <laughs> Jimmy came in, yo. These tag matches, though. Oh, oh, oh! Spine Buster. Oh, the splash of Rey Mysterio, and now Jay back up to the top rope, and he's gonna go oh, and connect on Rey Mysterio. The Usos turning it around, and he's going from turnbuckle to turnbuckle. Jay Uso splash connecting on Rey Mysterio and goes for the cover. Jay Uso legs on the ropes, legs on the ropes. Oh my God, ref! Open your eyes. Oh, Rey Mysterio just got done in, bro, buried. My man's got hit with the super kick, followed by the diving headbutt from Jimmy. Followed by the diving headbutt from Jay. Followed by the Uso splash from Jay. Followed by a dirty pin. Legs on the ropes. Oh my goodness. Referee, he was right in front of you, bro. This ref has been giving me trouble, man. The Usos are going on to fast lane to face off against Los Lefarios for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. That's going to be a hell of a match. And I feel like Familiar Mysterio, they've been hard done by right there, man. They've been hard done by. But, hey, me and that ref, we're going to have to have a word, bro. We're going to have to have a word. But what a way to kick off SmackDown once again. What's up, my people? I, I, know, I know I'm sorry I got to interrupt. But we got the regular scheduled promotion. I got to let you guys know. Just the same way I have in Fastlane. Over on WCW, they're throwing Uncensored. Their first pay-per-view of the year as well so i need to hey if you if you want to know what's going on for that pay-per-view you need to go over there and check out the final episode of wcw before the pay-per-view they went up live on tuesday so you need to go ahead and check it out
Mm. What show we're having here on SmackDown Live, and we got more in-ring action coming up, more scheduled action. We got a lot of superstars here that are just running wild almost, bro. And I, hey, I, I kind of like it, bro. I kind of like it. These superstars are showing their real drive and determination to make stuff happen for themselves, and I'm here for it. One thing uh, that's been going down is this whole situation where Liv Morgan's been brought into it recently, and... Uh, Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks been they they've been going in they've been doing crazy shit. Uh, Rhea Ripley's been on the on the taking the brunt of it in the past couple weeks, and Liv Morgan took the brunt of it last week when Becky Lynch absolutely took it to her. I mean, we'll show you what happened. Uh, before the show, Becky Lynch absolutely just assaulting Liv Morgan, and 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 they tried to get the better of Rhea Ripley, but Liv Morgan came to her aid. We saw earlier today, Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. They want the chance that Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch at Fastlane. And this is the opportunity to make it happen. Rhea Ripley accompanying uh, Liv Morgan to the ring to make sure no funny business goes down. And if Liv Morgan can pick up a win today against Mia Yim, who's making her one-on-one -on -one in ring debut for this universe mode, she can get the win here. Uh, she will get her opportunity alongside Rhea Ripley to face off against Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch at Fastlane. So... I mean, Mia Yim can spoil the party right now. Mia Yim is a, she's a talented, talented young lady. So, I mean, she could definitely make things happen. And uh, Liv Morgan not had much one-on-one -on -one, uh, experience so far up to this time in, in the universe mode. So, we saw how good she can be in the Rumble. She had a real good Rumble. Most eliminations with five, I believe. Four or five eliminations for Liv Morgan. As well as making it to the final five. So... I mean, she showed she's got the ability. But, um, is it going to be enough to get what she's after in today's uh, matchup? And uh, I'm not, I'm not, as far as, as far as Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks go, I don't even know if they're in the building, to be honest. Uh, knowing the way they've behave, been behaving, I wouldn't be surprised if they were in the building. And they were just biding their time and waiting for something to go down. This action is already spilled onto the outside. But, yeah, like I said, I really would not be surprised. I guess time will tell. But Rhea Ripley is here. Rhea Ripley is here and waiting. And, and, and the difference is that now there's even numbers between the two. I mean, Becky and, Becky and Sasha tried to get the better of Rhea Ripley when it was two on one. Liv Morgan equalized that. So... I mean, they've, they've been moving real cowardly recently, so I don't know if they if they, they got the balls to really show up when uh, Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley are expecting it. Big knee to the face for Mia Yim. And a, and a face drag, too. Nice face buster. Mia Yim, hey, this, this is a moment. Of course, we have the SmackDown special coming up in the main event uh, where, I mean... Today we're giving a lot of the women who haven't had an opportunity to, to really showcase themselves yet an opportunity to do so. Mia Yim is not going to be in that match, but this is her opportunity. This is her opportunity, and this is a one-on-one -on -one match as well, so the, 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 the chance is even better for her, really. Brilliant face buster from Liv Morgan for the second time. She goes for an early cover on Mia Yim, and a one count is all she can get this early in the match. You can just see, you can see the intensity on the face of Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. As you could just tell how much they want to get their hands on Sasha Banks and, uh, and Becky Lynch. You, know, you don't even have to talk to them for it to come across. I mean, they, they spoke earlier and you can see the fire in their eyes, but you don't even need to talk to them. You ain't, you ain't even got to listen to them to really see it. Like I said, you could just look, look at the, the intensity on their face and, and, and really see it as Liv Morgan. With a clothesline takedown on Mia Yim. And it looks like Liv Morgan is going to go up to the top rope. And a big splash connects from Liv Morgan. Big splash. Probably the biggest move that's connected so far in this match. And Liv Morgan with a kick to the midsection. Off of the ropes and connects. Beautiful, beautiful face crusher. And she goes for the cover on Mia Yim. And a two and a three. And Liv Morgan... Make a light, 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 light work of Mia Yim here on SmackDown. And Liv Morgan 
and Rhea Ripley will be going on to face off against Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks at Fast Lane. Big, big win for these two. Mia Yim. Some serious disappointment on her face as she couldn't get the victory, but much bigger things are at stake right now between uh, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, and Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. So there we have it, a hey, Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley versus Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch will take place at Fast Lane. And another match that will take place at Fast Lane, Montez Ford will be going head to head with Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. Now this man is starting somewhat of a singles journey uh, at the moment, and you could just tell. Well, you know, I was going to say you could tell that the man is excited, but the man is always excited. So, look, look the man is dancing for his swagging. So, Montez Ford, I mean, he's got opportunity uh, that a lot of singles competitors don't get, let alone tag team competitors. And uh, I'm sure he's excited to take it because, uh, I mean, I'm sure everybody's excited to see it. Oh God, oh God. He just had to come and spoil the party. Come and crack, crack, gate crasher. Gate crasher Seth Rollins, but the revolutionary is in the building. This is Montez Ford's opponent at Fastlane. The man that stands between him and some championship gold of the singles caliber, right? And uh, I have to be real, if there's a man standing in front of you from your dreams, uh, Seth Rollins is not one of the men you would want to choose. This man, this is a bad man, as Stephen A. Smith would say. This is a man of great accomplishment, of great skill and ability. And as much as he talks and he's annoying and he gets on everybody's last nerve, he backs it up. So I can't even complain.
time for the big boys. These two out of three men will be competing at fast lane for the WWE Championship. Mustafa Ali holding a big win earlier on in the month over AJ Styles and Austin Theory. And he's getting himself an opportunity to see how he fares in a one-on-one -on -one environment against the WWE Champion. It's gonna be it's gonna be very telling to see how well Mustafa Ali does. I mean, since joining us on SmackDown, this guy's rise has just been it's been I mean consistent is the only word that I can really use to put into place. Mustafa Ali since getting with us, since joining us on SmackDown, he's just been on the on and upwards uh rise. Nothing has really slowed him down. Even this soft reboot that we've had hasn't really slowed him down. I mean, you've seen how he started this new season. I mean, he's looking like he's going straight for that WWE Championship. And, and we'll see. I mean, beating, beating Shinsuke and, and the AJ Styles at the same time is not going to be easy. And if he's not able to do it, we'll see how he responds to a setback. But this kid, I mean, he's got a very bright future here on SmackDown. And Shinsuke Nakamura... Celebrating, well, I say celebrating, enjoying his, you could clearly see the boy is enjoying his first reign, not only as SmackDown, not only as a WWE champion, but his first reign as a champion in this universe mode, period. Shinsuke Nakamura trying to make the most out of it, of his big win at Wrestle, why, why was I about to say WrestleMania? The big win at, in, the, in the Rumble here. At the beginning of season four, we on season four. I, don't, I guess we call it season four. The other, the other seasons were very, uh, very short, but they, I guess they were seasons nonetheless. Shinsuke, he, get, he getting that championship treatment right here. You know, we go, we gonna enjoy his whole entrance. We gonna, we gonna let him, him do his whole thing because he's the WWE champ, and that's what you get. But right here. Last matchup before we head into our SmackDown special for the main event should be uh, very, very lit. Five women. Uh, no, no, no rules really. No disqualifications. Winners by knockout, pinfall, or submission. Fools count anywhere. Elimination style. It really is a SmackDown special. You ain't getting this over there on WCW. You ain't getting that nowhere else. And in this particular SmackDown special, there will be a number one contendership on the line. And it's gonna be lit. It gonna be, it gonna be fun, bro. Mustafa Ali with a nice neck breaker. Having the early offense against the champion in this one. And he's going for an early cover. Mustafa Ali testing the champion out. And only a one count here against Shinsuke Nakamura. Like I said, Mustafa Ali, massive, massive win earlier in the month and also I mean another win over Austin Fury despite it being a, a one by disqualification but the momentum is all in Mustafa Ali's corner and, and, and if he is able to pick up a win here against the, the WWE champion nice suplex if he's able to get a win over the WWE champion oh look at the talent look at the talent on display from Mustafa Ali he is taking it to the WWE champion Nothing but offense right here for Mustafa Ali. That crazy. As a champion fights back, as I was saying, Mustafa Ali is able to get a win right here against WWE Champion in a one-on-one -on -one match. The momentum he'll take into fast lane is a massive. And Shinsuke Nakamura, I don't know where this come from, but the boy is turning it around with the kicks to the chest. Following it up, big kick to the head and go straight in for the cover. WWE Champion hooks the leg. One, two, and a kick out. Big kick out from Mustafa Ali, not allowing it to end that way. Not like these, not like these. He said, Oh, 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 Shinsuke. She can hit that ball. Kinshasa. One, two. Oh, and another shoulder up from Mustafa Ali. Shinsuke is going to the top row. Damn, this ain't what you expect. Shinsuke, no. Oh. Ooh, watch out for that knee, bro. Protect your knee. Protect your knee, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I mean, I mean, hey, 
Hey, this ain't no, this ain't no fairy tale wrestling over here, bro. This ain't none of that, bro. I mean, wrestling where they make mistakes, bro. Oh, Mustafa Ali taking out Shinsuke Nakamura, doing a little bit of damage to himself, but he looks like he's got Nakamura down for a win over the champion too, and a kick out by the WWE champion right there. Big crashing maneuver right there from Shins uh, from from Mustafa Ali to put Nakamura down. He brings the offense back, working on the arm right there of the, the WWE Champion. And he's definitely bringing the fight. Trying to wear, wear, wear him down. And referee calls for a rope break. Mustafa Ali heads back out to the apron, up to the top rope. He's looking at that, and it might be a little bit too far for him. And he goes for a big splash. He had to say it might be a little bit too far for the 5 4 oh, splash. Is that what it's called? 5 4 5 40? He's going back to the top rope. What has Mustafa Ali got in mind for this one? Again, another big splash connecting. And Shinsuke Nakamura, he's going to have to fight because Mustafa Ali is rolling in this one. He goes back and this might be dangerous. Definitely a better situation. Mustafa Ali, Shinsuke's getting back up to it. Oh my God. The champion, the WWE champion is a god. He's a magician. I don't know how he got out of the way of that one. Mustafa Ali was, was setting to put this to bed. And he's not going to do it this time. Oh, but he gets the 450. Mustafa Ali. Oh, no break. He's going back to the top. He's going back to the top. He's going for... Oh, oh, it's wraps. It's wraps. And he's hooked the leg away from the roast. Mustafa Ali is going to beat the WWE champion. No. No! What a kick out from Shinsuke Nakamura. Showing that fighting spirit. He's showing everybody why he is the WWE Champion. He's been waiting a long time for this belt and he told us he was going to show us all strong style in his truest form. And a boy ain't lying right now because he is putting on a show with Mustafa Ali. Look at this right here is what we're talking about. That strong style from Shinsuke Nakamura. Putting it down on Mustafa Ali. He sends him into the corner. Mustafa Ali's fighting his way out. These guys, this is, again, this is a main event caliber matchup here on SmackDown. And it ain't even the main event. These two guys doing the, look, look. Oh, big forearm from Shinsuke Nakamura and that might be it for, 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 for Mustafa Ali he might be out cold he might be done and Shinsuke Nakamura says that's not enough we need a little bit more Kinshasa one two three and the WWE champion picks up the win but he sure had to fight for it oh my god Mustafa Ali made this man fight tooth and nail and Shinsuke Nakamura picks up a big win. Mustafa Ali is back to his feet in the middle of the ring with a champ. He extends his hand out. And yeah, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. A little bit of bad, bad blood going back and forth between uh, 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 Austin Fury and AJ Styles. But you can expect from Shinsuke Nakamura, WWE Champion and Mustafa Ali, a little bit of respect and admiration going to be shown between the two. But I guarantee there'll be no love lost when these two collide at Fastlane with AJ Styles in the mix for the WWE Championship, which will be on the line. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Because our Fastlane pay-per-view is going to be crazy.
God damn, bro. Seamus, what is, what, what is up with Seamus, bro? I, you know what? Maybe I need to take a little bit of responsibility. Maybe, maybe, maybe Sheamus is just losing his mind because he ain't had a match yet. I don't know, bro. But on the same page, there are other people that ain't had a match yet. They ain't going around acting like that in the back. But hey, I was, I was just saying, I, I, I kind of like these people going out and taking what they want. But damn, I was out of control. But right here, right now, the charismatic Nick. But we saw last week Jeff Hardy get a little bit of payback on Samoa Joe, and now he's showing his face. And he says he's got something to say to the WWE Universe. And it's main event time, main event, main event, main event, main event time, main event. It's time for the first ever <laughs> SmackDown special. A show you're only going to be able to see here on SmackDown. Like I said, you ain't going to see it. On WCW, you ain't gonna see it on no Warren Perkins, you ain't gonna see it nowhere else. SmackDown Special, aka the Kerosene Special, you know, because <laughs> devised by yours truly. I mean, the rules are simple. The rules are as simple as it gets because there are damn near no rules. There are five women who will step inside this ring tonight. All weapons are allowed, fools count anywhere elimination style match so every woman will need to be pinned for you to be the winner the last woman standing will be the winner you can win by pinfall submission or straight knockout right you lose consciousness you are out right so this match right here is gonna be crazy we see Tiga not see the woman who I I, I can see big things for Kaylee Ray even bigger this is definitely a woman i look at and i can see holding that smackdown championship at some point in the future she is definitely one of the favorites for this match as far as what i'm looking at kaylee ray is definitely a woman to look out for if not only today but in the future as well and this is another one dakota kai i mean every woman who's stepping into this ring today has the opportunity not only right now with this being a number one contenders match uh, but they also just, I mean, at any point in the future, I could see any of these women holding that SmackDown Women's Championship. So, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a great night. And, and with this being the first SmackDown special, I'm expecting these women to put on a show. And I expect nothing less because like I said, these are, these are five very talented, talented women. And uh, five women with a lot to prove, prove as well like none of these women have a, a huge history in this universe mode N none of them have a, a list of accomplishments to be especially proud of dakota kai ha having wins in the uh may young classic in previous seasons but that that's about it when it comes to these women uh and this is another one trying to make some waves and 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 make her name uh ring and be remembered the the wicked stepsister candace laray another woman I mean, we have a lot of women specifically on this brand who are either making debuts or, 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 or have had maybe just a handful of matches. But a lot of women who are pretty much just starting off their SmackDown journey and, you know, got a lot to, 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 to prove. And I mean, this one right here, this one right here, if you're asking me, if you're asking me for my favorite. To win this match, I have to I have to tell you to look no further than Io Shirai, the genius of the sky. Cause look, look, if you're asking me, if you're asking me, she is definitely the the best female wrestler in the world right now. And I would say even in the discussion for best wrestler in the world, period, right now. Io Shirai, she is doing crazy things. She is so good. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past her in any sense to leave here as the winner and the number one contender for Mickey James Women's 
championship. And again, I, I have no doubt Mickey James is watching this backstage. I mean, she's she's obviously going to be prepared for um for Charlotte Flair, who she's got to face off against uh this 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 weekend at Fastlane. She's going up against Charlotte Flair. Uh, if she comes out on top against that, she's gonna have to face one of these women. If Charlotte Flair comes out on top, she's gonna have to face one of these women. Uh, we also, we also do have. I mean, I, I must let you know there are no, there are no real immediate rematches on SmackDown. If it, let me, you know what? I'm gonna make a rule right here. I'm gonna make a new rule right here. Oh, unless you hold, in order to qualify for an immediate rematch, oof, it's the car Kai going straight in with that face wash. But in order to qualify for, for an immediate rematch, you're going to have to have held your belt for at least three months. Three months or more. Otherwise, you don't qualify for immediate rematches. You know, you're going to have to earn your rematch if you want a rematch. Uh, just because you held the belt doesn't mean you're going to get an immediate rematch when you, when, when, when you lose it. You're going to have to earn that rematch back. But, uh, but yeah, one of those women are going to have to face off against one of these women. And early on, Dakota Kai... Being sent outside, she's taking a little break, a little breather. Let me, let me, uh, let me get myself a closer, closer look. Ooh, the action taking place in the inside of the ring. And see right there, Candice LeRae. This might be why she calls herself the wicked stepsister, the first one to find herself outside the ring. Looking for them goddamn weapons. A sledgehammer though? A sledgehammer. Naio Shirai is trying to go outside and look for weapons and, 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 and Candice LeRae following her out there. And these two now taking their bow to the outside. Look at the maneuvering. They're just like, you smack down, baby. This is, the superstars on SmackDown got it like that, bro. Look at the, the wrestling tennis, we call it. Back and forth. Back and forth. To, from me to you, to me to you, it's lit. Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai and Io Shirai having some history, of course, throughout their career. So they're two superstars who know each other real well, and you must think by now. Oh! Candice LeRae going for early cover. Dakota Kai getting a real quick kick out. But I was, I was going to say, uh, you have to think Io Shirai and Dakota Kai uh, must have developed some sort of respect of each other's game at this point. That they've got real history. Right now, only only two superstars standing, but Kaylee Ray makes it only one, as she says. Candice LeRae packing in a nice Northern Light suplex from Kaylee Ray. You can see right here, right now, why I considered her one of the favorites to win this match. And she finds herself on the top rope. Kaylee Ray with a swanton, beautifully done and executed from the Scottish lass, and she gets hit with a chair. Kaylee Ray, oh my God, somehow missing. And being made to pay as Io Shirai is swinging that chair around. Oh my gosh, she's she missing. Io Shirai, just put it down and show him what you can do with your hands and feet because you're missing. <laughs> she is missing. Oh, and she's forced down onto the chair. Kaylee Ray and Io Shirai, what a match this would be. One on one. Io Shirai fighting back with her. She gave him one of the cane uppercuts. And a beautiful Harakana. This time, Kaylee Ray spine onto the chair. And now Dakota Kai is taking it to Tiga Knox with the kicks and Kaylee Ray, sorry, Candice LeRae. All these people in this ring name too similar. Dakota Kai, Io Shirai, Kaylee Ray, Candice LeRae. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I appreciate you, Tiga Knox. Individuality and such. <laughs> appreciate you. And now Tiga Knox. Tiga Knox. The last woman standing now at this point is the, the Inziguria now. And now the Kendo stick to the spine. No! Oh, the Kota Kai with a nice roundhouse kick and now Candice LeRae back in the ring to, to break it up as the Kota Kai tried to fight back and now Dakota taking a little breather on the outside but Tegan Knox and Candice LeRae following her out there a little bit of a alliance for oh maybe not maybe not it's Tegan Knox face first into the apron We've got it still going on out here between Kaylee Ray and Il Shirai. Il Shirai bringing a ladder out. Kaylee Ray fortunate enough to get that out of her hands. And these two right here, like I was saying, what a great match this would be. And they are taking their time to, to get to know each other a little bit. And Il Shirai 
Io Shirai is locking it in. The, is, the, is it the Koji clutch? It don't matter where it is. It's locked in on Kaylee Ray on the outside. Like I said, fools count anywhere. So a submission will count outside. And Kaylee Ray is fortunate enough to be able to get out of it as the ladder connects to the face of the genius of the sky. Now on the outside. On the outside. Oh my god. Dakota Kai getting her payback as she hits the chair down to break up the submission and Kaylee Ray on the other side with that ladder once again to Io Shirai I had Io Shirai as my favorite oh oh she avoided that one I'm fighting back and sending Kaylee Ray into them still steps I had Io Shirai as my favorite but after that beating that she just took I don't know anymore still five women in this match who will be the first to be eliminated? But wait, in the middle. Oh, I thought she was going for the fairy tale ending, but even better, a nice backbreaker. This is what I'm talking about here, Sharada. The moveset is beautiful. I mean, she could do anything in this ring. She could really do anything. And these three, three women on the other side still going at it. Right now, it's Dakota Kai and Tiga Knox. Beautiful spinning back kick. And wait, wait, Candice. Oh, why did she put it down? Oh, 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 so fortunate. Oh, that was so close. Kaylee Ray known for her love of that uh, baseball bat. And she almost put it to the skull of Io Shirai. Fortunately enough for Io, she was able to interrupt. Where about, oh, we was about to have all five women on the outside. But hold on, hold on. Io Shirai is on the top rope. I know exactly what's on her mind. Oh, maybe not a diving elbow. Smart. Intelligent. She could have gone for that moonsault, but that would have been so risky. That would have been so risky. But that move so surely would have put Kaylee Ray away. And Io Shirai onto that top rope. And the kendo stick been broken off on somebody's back. Jesus. And now Tegan Knox. Tegan Knox putting a table in the middle of the ring. It's about to get wild. Yo, it's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy in this SmackDown special. Spinning back kick. Oh, oh, oh! The shiniest wizard connects. And that's got to be wraps. Listen. Listen to the one. Listen to the two. Listen to the. F I see you. I see you. Okay, because I'm thinking that's if that's the shiniest wizard. Wait, wait. No, oh, beautiful moonsault from the genius of this. Oh, you see, you see how quick she climbs that top rope. She is definitely the genius of the sky. She's having a little think about it. Oh my! God. The funny bone is done. The funny bone is wrapped. Oh, oh, oh! Chiropractor connect. That's wraps. That's got to be wraps. I'm not even going to carry it this time because I got carried away before. I got carried away. <gasps> oh, I thought it was wraps. Everybody's kicking out. Oh, my God. Smack down. Special, bro. This is what you get. Oh, oh, it's about to be wraps. Candice LeRae is just chilling. But in the meantime, Dakota Kai. Oh, she got out the way. Hurricane. Oh, this match is lit. This match is it! Back breaker. Oh! Oh, Candice LeRae is out of here. But that's a little bit. That's a little bit. I mean, she she I mean, I guess she was out for a second. Ow! Oh! She got up red pretty quick. I don't know if she was out cold, bro. Cause look, look, Dakota Kai is out. I mean, she ain't out, but she down longer than than her and Tegan Knox are both down longer than Candice LeRae is. Boom! Power bomb, but I mean they 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 they, they was moving. Hey, I don't know, bro. I don't know about this referee. But Candice LeRae, that backbreaker to put out. Oh, the shiniest wizard to put Kaylee Ray out too. But she, hey, this referee is a little bit funky though, cause 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 Kaylee Ray got back up. She got right up and left, even quicker than Candice LeRae. But we're putting it A. It's in the rest hands. There are three remaining. Tegan Knox, Dakota Kai, and Io Shirai are the final ones to remain. And she, you got to be careful. When you're taking strikes like that to the dome, bro, you could go out at any second. That is that is what makes the SmackDown special. Special! Oh, the shady is weird. It didn't do enough. She's going for the cover, though. And that might keep her down for three seconds. Two. Oh, the Kai kicks out again. Oh my goodness. 
you're seeing the best of the best in the ring right now for many cases and, and what's crazy is that we got more we got more we got more female superstars that are absolutely crazy and think of the possibilities with some of the some of the superstars that could i will at some point take place and uh, take part sorry in the smackdown special crazy bro crazy bro Leo Shirai up against the ropes and Tegan Knox with that chop to the chest. Just working on the leg. Interesting strategy for a match like this. To work on the leg. But I guess it is a genius to this guy. You do wanna you do wanna keep her as grounded as possible. Three women remain in this SmackDown special and the action is about to head outside. And I'm just thinking about that ladder that was put in that wasn't really put to you. Not the ladder, sorry, the table. The table. I mean, Io Shirai did. We had a couple uh, maneuvers on it, but not through it, you know. Keep your notes heading back inside. She's going to that sledgehammer, isn't she? She's bugging. That's what she's doing. She's heading outside, remember. Number one contendership opportunity. A chance to face off for that women's championship at the next pay-per-view is on the line right here. And Tegan Knox thrown into the ring for Dakota Kai. Io Shirai pretty much serving, serving Tegan Knox up for Dakota Kai. And this is not good. And she's taking her away. She's taking her in the other direction. Dakota Kai and Io Shirai was working together. That kendo stick off of the head. Oh my god, they're teaming up on Tegan Knox. That's stress. Double team in Tegan Knox right there. The kendo stick bouncing off of her skull at the same time. Dakota Kai is running the ropes. But now, that split second alliance. Oh my. Oh yo, I didn't even realize that double team eliminated Tegan Knox. She is out of competition. She did get beat down, bro. KO, out cold. I guess the referee isn't uh, uh, not looking for absolute out cold knockout. He's just looking for a loss of a loss of consciousness. So I mean, we have to trust the referee, you know, right? Like if her eyes don't look hazy, she looks like she's out of it. And Io Shirai, oh Io Shirai, has put the coat of Kai to sleep. Oh Io Shirai, I told you, I told you she was the favorite, bro. I told you she was the favorite. This match was lit. Look at all the madness that went on in this match. We had Kay Kaylee Ray versus Io Shirai. We had a little ar alliance between Dakota Kai and Io. We had Tegan Knox giving out shiniest of wizards. This match was crazy. We had tables, kendo sticks, ladders, chairs, sledgehammers, baseball bats. Oh man. And the genius of the sky. I mean, she she has the world in her hands right now, bro. She could do anything. She is so damn good. And she is your number one contender. Whether she'll face Charlotte or Mickey James, you're going to have to tune into Fastlane to see as much as way more that you're going to see on Fastlane. Pay-per-view coming this weekend as well as WCW's pay-per-view. Uh, can't remember what it's called right now. That's on me. My bad, bro. Um, um, um. Um, it don't even matter at this point, bro. Not right now. But tune in WCW and SmackDown pay-per-views this weekend. It's going to be lit. The first ones, there's going to be a lot of championships crowned for WCW and for SmackDown. Intercontinental championships will be crowned as well as tag team champions. You do not want to miss this one. Until next time, guys. Peace. Wake up.